Hello everyone, and welcome to another Kinetic Type tutorial. Have you ever wanted to create dynamic, eye-catching animations that make your text come alive? Well, today you're in for a treat. I'm going to show you how to design and animate this captivating Kinetic Type using Adobe After Effects. But before we dive in, let's take a quick look at what we'll be creating. We have these words forming a striking typography composition. I've used the same font in different weights to create a dynamic rhythm in the design. The movement resembles a wave, or a flag fluttering in the wind, giving the letters an organic feel. Then, we'll add a 3D effect that adds depth, enhancing the visual interest. And the best part? It's simpler than you might think. So stick around, because by the end of this tutorial, you'll have the skills to create this striking animation yourself. Let's get started. First, let's set up a new composition. I'm making mine 1080 by 1080 pixels for a nice square aspect ratio, perfect for social media. Set the frame rate to 30 frames per second and the duration to 10 seconds. Once you're set, press OK. Next, let's create a solid for the background. Right click over the timeline and select New Solid. Name it Background, make sure it's set to Comp Size and choose a dark grey color to make our text stand out. Press OK and then lock the layer to keep things organized. Quick tip, you can quickly create a new solid by pressing Command or Control plus Y. And to lock a layer, select it and press Command or Control plus L. These shortcuts can save you time and streamline your workflow. Now, let's select the Type tool and write something. I'm going to type Going. In my example, I use one typeface, but with different weights to create a dynamic rhythm. I'm using Helvetica New, but feel free to choose any font you like. Play around with the weights and styles to create something that resonates with your creative vision. Great! Now we're going to apply an effect that will give our text that organic, flowing motion. With your word selected, go to Effects, Distort, Turbulent Displays. This effect is fantastic for creating natural fluid distortions that mimic the movement of liquids or gases, giving your text an animated life of its own. First, change the displacement type to horizontal displacement. This shifts the elements of our text along the horizontal axis, creating that wave-like motion. Then increase the amount to 75 and the size to 750. This enhances the fluidity without overly distorting the text. And before we start animating this effect, let's change the pinning from pin all to pin all locked and let's change the anti-aliasing to high. Now, we could animate this effect using keyframes, but if you know me, you know I love using expressions to make animations more efficient and flexible. So let's add an expression to the evolution parameter to create a seamless loop. Hold down the Alt key or Option on a Mac and click on the stopwatch icon next to evolution. This opens the expression editor. Now, let's write our expression. First, we'll define how many times we want the effect to loop over the duration of the composition. By setting loop count to 2, we're specifying that we want the evolution to complete two full cycles during the entire length of the composition. Next, we need to determine the duration of each loop. So let's write loop duration equals this comp period duration divided by loop count semicolon. This line calculates the duration of a single loop by dividing the total duration of the composition by the number of loops we specified. Then, we'll calculate the evolution value that drives our effect over time. So let's write evolution value equals open parenthesis time multiplied by 360 divided by loop duration close parenthesis percent 360 semicolon. Here, we are multiplying the current time by 360 degrees and dividing it by the loop duration to scale the evolution over each loop cycle. The modulo operator percent %360 ensures that the value wraps around after reaching 360 degrees, creating a seamless loop. Finally, type evolution value. This returns the evolution value to drive the evolution parameter. So your complete expression should look like this. And that's it. This expression ensures that the evolution cycles twice over the duration of the composition, creating a smooth looping animation. Pro tip, if you want even more control, you can create a null object, name it loop control, add a slider control effect to it, and link the loop count variable to the slider. This way, you can adjust the number of loops easily without diving back into the code. Now, let's add more context to our kinetic type by duplicating the text layer. Select your text layer, and press Ctrl or Command plus D twice to create two duplicates. Move one copy above and the other below the original layer. Change the top text to Keep and the bottom text to North. Adjust the font weights as needed to maintain the dynamic rhythm. 
Another advantage of using expressions with sliders is that you can control the loop motion on all three text layers simultaneously. Imagine trying to adjust each layer individually with keyframes. It would be much more time consuming. Let's keep moving. With all three text layers, and the null if you created one, selected right click and choose pre-compose. Give the new composition a meaningful name, like kinetic text comp. Now, in our new pre-comp, we'll add a couple of effects to create that 3D look. First, with the pre-comp selected, go to Effects, Perspective, Drop Shadow. Set the shadow color to black. Adjust the opacity to 25%. Set the direction to 90 degrees. Set the distance to zero, so the shadow sits directly behind the text. Increase the softness to 200 for a smooth, diffused shadow. Now for the effect that brings everything together, the echo effect. Still with the pre-comp selected, go to Effects, Time, Echo. In the Echo settings, increase the number of echoes to 30. Change the Echo operator to Composite in front. At first glance, the echoes might be too far apart, breaking the 3D illusion we're aiming for. This is due to the Echo Time setting. Let's fix that. Adjust the Echo Time to a smaller negative value. Change it from minus 0 0.033 to dash 0.0165 comma, just by dividing it for 2. This tightens up the spacing between the echoes and restores the seamless 3D effect. Let's preview our composition. Ah, much better. Now the echoes blend smoothly and the 3D illusion is back on point. And that's pretty much it. Congratulations on completing this kinetic type animation. You've successfully created a dynamic and visually striking piece by combining organic wave-like motion with a compelling 3D effect. Along the way, you've harnessed the power of the turbulent displace effect mastered expressions to control animations efficiently, and learned how to add depth using drop shadow and echo effects. But don't let the creativity stop here. Feel free to experiment with different settings. Play around with loop counts, evolution speeds, and effect parameters to discover new and exciting variations. Customize your design by trying out different fonts, weights, and colors to make the animation uniquely yours or to fit a specific project theme. Add more effects or incorporate other animation techniques to elevate your piece even further. Remember, the possibilities are endless when you let your creativity flow. This tutorial is just a starting point for what you can achieve in Adobe After Effects. If you found this tutorial helpful, please share it with others who might enjoy it. And I'd love to see what you've created. If you share your work on social media, don't forget to tag me so I can admire your amazing projects and perhaps feature them in future content. Thank you for joining me today. Keep exploring, keep experimenting, and I can't wait to see you in the next tutorial. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, a great life, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.